usfcougars.com here with USF Swimming head coach John McCall. You guys are about three months into the season. Uh, had some duels, uh, three wins over NSIC opponents. What have you? What can you take away from the season so far? Um, so far, the season's gone really well. I mean, the biggest thing I would take away is that we have a bunch of really hardworking women. Um, they have exceeded expectations in their ability to swim a little beat up, swim tired, swim multiple events. I mean, you know, we only have a roster of 11 swimmers. Um, three of those swimmers have been swimming less than a year. Um, so we've had to really spread our, our lineups out and get very creative with, with what we're doing. And all three of those wins um, or because we had a lot of women swimming really fast in, in events that aren't necessarily their first or second sort of event. And, and that's a real testament to their hard work. Um, that's a testament to their ability to swim for each other and, and not just for themselves. Um, so it's been, it's been fun to watch. And, um, you know, the biggest compliment you can give a coach is that your team's working hard and, and um, they're just, they're working extremely hard and that makes us, you know, very proud. And this weekend you're headed to the Rochester Invite in Rochester, Minnesota on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's, you have hinted at, that it's kind of your first big test on a, a more of a national scene. So yeah. what are you looking for your team this weekend? Yeah, so we're doing a little drop taper. Um, we're resting for about three to three and a half days. Um, we didn't lift this week. Um, and we're going to be shaved and suited for this meet. Um, so yeah, we're looking to to put some some top five, top ten national ranked times from some of our athletes. Um, we're looking for some other athletes to um, you know put themselves in contention for maybe top top five at the NSIC level uh, as well. Um, so we're we're excited about that. Um, I think that they're ready. You know, I think that. Um, the hard work that they've put in, it's its time to have a little bit of a mental break and, and to swim fast and to, to reap some of those uh, rewards from, from their hard work. So, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. And I, I think that, um, you know, barring something crazy, I think we're, I'm confident that we're going to put in some good times. And so if you could break it down for us, some of us that aren't as familiar with swimming, what's, how is a invite like this weekend different than from a duel over the past few weeks? Sure. So when we, when we go into a dual meet, you know, we're looking to, to win those meets. Um, we're looking to kind of go head to head and we might have swimmer swim off events. Um, this meet is scored, but, you know, realistically with a roster of 11, um, you know, going up against rosters of 20 plus, um, we're really focusing on the main events that they're going to be swimming at conference, that they're going to be swimming at nationals. Um, and we're really kind of dialing in to kind of be specific and intentional with their swims so that um, they have every opportunity um, to be successful. And that's really kind of the difference um, for a dual meet uh, compared to an invite. And then the other big difference is this is a prelim final meet. So they'll swim in the morning uh, and then they'll get a second swim at night if they're in the A, B, or C final. Um, so we're looking to get into those A finals and swim that top competition. and. Um, you know, and, you know I, I'm, I'm not that concerned about the place. You know, if the time is there, if they, they focus on the process and they focus on what they need to be doing in the water, um, you know, and they look up the clock at the end of the race, you know, they're going to be, if they're happy with that time, I'm sure they'll be happy with their place. So we're, we're really kind of focusing that way. All right. And <clears throat> I asked you this about a month after you had started the, the first official season, but now that we're a couple months past that, where... Um, your first official season as a head coach, where do you see how you developed yourself or what are your some takeaways from that? Yeah, um, I've learned patience a little <laughs> bit more. Um, you know, my job as a coach, um, I, I view it maybe a little different than, than some, other, some other coaches or that older school mentality. Um, I don't really think of myself as the bringer of justice and discipline to, to these athletes' lives. You know, and I think that the manifestation of, of what I view myself is, is someone that is, my job is to, to, to seek understanding, to give forgiveness, find common ground, and, and work through 
compromises and relationships with the team. And that, I think, has been the biggest difference as a head coach is that, you know, when I sit down with these athletes, you know, we have 11 athletes from all over the world, you know, different countries, even in, within the United States, Mississippi, Michigan, South Dakota, they're, they're from all over. And, and being able to find that, that common ground and being able to support them the way they need to be supported and recognizing how different that is for each individual um, and not trying to bring quote unquote discipline or, or a, a, a firm hand and, and more of an understanding of where they're coming from and trying to find that common ground has probably been the biggest difference. And it's been, uh, it's been rewarding and it's been really fun. And um, I can honestly say that these, these women who are, who are working so hard are, are definitely making me better. And um, I appreciate the heck out of them for that. All right, thanks, Coach. And again, good luck this weekend at the Rochester Invite. And be sure to stay tuned to usfcougars.com for more info. Thanks, thanks John.